First, the standard finish. Here, we have a part with the standard SLS finish. The surface finish is inherently rough, similar in feel to medium grit sandpaper. All SLS parts come with this standard finish unless otherwise specified. The pros of this finish. It's low cost, it prepares your part for painting or lacquering, and because the overall geometry isn't altered, you get high accuracy. And now, the cons. Your parts have a matte, grainy surface finish. There is a limited amount of colors available, so if you want color, you should think about dyeing your parts. Next, we have dyed SLS and MJF parts. Dyeing is the fastest and most cost-efficient way of adding color to your SLS and MJF parts. As you can see and feel when you hold the parts, they are quite porous. Dyeing is therefore easy and ideal. Let's go over the pros of dyeing. There's a large range of colors, it does not affect part dimensions, you can dye multiple parts at a time, it's low cost, because you submerge the whole part in dye, color gets everywhere, so it's great for complex geometries. And now, the cons. Dye only gets half a millimeter into the part surface, so watch out for wear and tear. You also won't get a glossy finish with dyeing. Moving on. Let's look at parts that are vapor smoothed. Chemical vapor smoothing is used to seal surfaces, making dyeing easier. It is also used to certify parts for contact with food and skin while maintaining dimensional accuracy. Here are the pros of vapor smoothing. It creates a smooth finish. Your parts will be more resistant to dirt. Now for the cons. Because it makes parts smoother, it can also soften sharp edges and corners. It is not suitable for small features, thin walls, living hinges, or lever features. Next, let's look at part finished with vibro polishing and tumbling. This finish gives your parts a smooth and slightly shiny appearance, similar to injection molded parts. Here are the pros. It creates a smooth, slightly glossy surface finish. You can process multiple parts at the same time. It's cosmetically appealing. And finally, it is more resistant to dirt. The cons of vibro polishing and tumbling are, it's not suitable for small features or thin walls. It may adversely affect part tolerances. The media from tumbling can get stuck in crevices and gaps. It may round out sharp edges, negatively impacting part geometry. Finally, we have bead blasting. Bead blasting is most often used when manufacturers require a smooth uniform finish or a satin finish. Here are the pros of bead blasting. It creates a smooth surface finish, it makes your parts more dirt resistant, and it also makes your parts look cosmetically amazing. For the cons, it softens sharp edges and corners. It's not suitable for small features and thin walls. Blasting media can get stuck in crevices in the parts. That's it for surface finishes for SLS and MJF. We hope you learned something new and are ready to choose the right finish for your custom parts. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.